Well, it appears the Nintendo Direct is next week, at least according to somebody extremely reliable. And no, we're not talking about that random mod approved February 7th craziness coming out of Reddit. No, we actually have somebody who's pretty reliable and in the know about these kind of things. Somebody who's a veteran in the industry. So, you know what? Let's talk about that. <laughs> So when we're talking about upcoming Directs, we obviously all expect one. It's February 1st, Nintendo's had a Nintendo Direct, a general Nintendo Direct, essentially the last four years. Technically in 2020, it wasn't considered it to be a general Direct because they didn't have a general Direct in 2020, but they still had a Nintendo Direct at all, any sort of Direct. So look, we expect one to be happening this month. We haven't heard a ton of... I would say reliable rumors and leaks around this, right? We talked about some stuff from 4chan. We talked about speculation based on the days that they've been having it. We talked about the investors meeting, which is on the 7th, but we haven't necessarily had anything more concrete coming from people in the know that have been right about this stuff before. And now we do because Jeff Grubb last night on his own show was asked by his partner, Mike, about what he has heard about the upcoming Direct. And here is what he had to say. Let me ask you uh, this, now, just kind of talking about Nintendo and shows in general, because it seems like pretty much everybody is expecting a February Direct. I'm wondering what your pulse is on that, if you're expecting one and what you think might be showing up at it. Yeah, I mean, everything I'm hearing, and it's all just sort of reiterating it, it continues to be the week of February 6th. Uh, over and over and over again, every little detail I get is uh, basically a week from now. Uh, we should be getting to, we should begin hearing about all this stuff. I think it's probably late in the week, um, so don't. If the February sixth is going to come around, no, we're not going to hear about it, and people are going to freak out. Like there, there's nothing happening. First of all, I'm not guaranteeing it for for that week. I'm just saying that's what everything's sort of pointing to right now. I don't think that's too surprising because they always have one in February or at the, you know. March at the latest. That one year they had kind of one a little bit later in March. Um, it, I'm, I'm, I, I, yeah, I think it's going to happen. I think it's going to happen pretty soon. And I wouldn't be surprised if all these indicators are exactly right, um, especially with that stuff shaking loose with Advanced Wars 1 plus 2. Uh, where it's like, oh, I got a new game idea. They're telling people, they're telling retailers to take pre-orders again. Uh, they, yeah, they're probably going to just drop that in a Nintendo Direct real quick and push it out the door real fast. And then they'll have a bunch of announcements about other stuff, and then we'll get uh, some updates on Tears of the Kingdom. Now listen, Jeff Grubb is a veteran in this industry, and a lot of us might remember, oh, but he was wrong about Metroid Prime HD and Wind Waker and Twilight Princess. Yeah, sure, he was. You know what he was also right about? It Takes Two and the exact timing of the September Direct. So that's the thing. You got to pay attention to what he seems to know about and what he doesn't. And what he's hearing typically comes from third-party companies that are participating in the Direct. So he said everything, everything he's hearing, all the people he's talking to is pointing to the week of February 6th, which is next week. Now, he does note, of course, that, hey, if there's no announcement on the 6th, it doesn't mean anything. He's hearing it's going to be later in the week, which suggests a Thursday with an announcement on Wednesday. Does make some sense because they would probably do the investors meeting and then announce the next day, then do it on Thursday. That does make some sense. But yeah, that, I mean, I, I can get why Nintendo maybe wants to go pretty early here in February. We've talked about how we've seen listings. We've obviously seen the game vouchers leak. It's very clear that Nintendo's basically ready to do the Direct now. However, they want to wait until the investors meeting is over, which makes a lot of sense. Nintendo typically doesn't do Directs on the same day as the investors meeting. And maybe... I don't know, maybe the investors meeting is not going to be as good a news or, or bad news in the future. So they're like, hey, our stock might drop for a day, but then let's drop this direct and have our stock jump right back up. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens in this supposed direct. We've been talking about it now for, I don't know, at least three weeks. And we're all ready, right? We're all ready to have this happen, regardless of what happens in the second half of this year. Most of us are ready to just see some more Tears of the Kingdom. Most of us are ready to see more from Kirby. Like, we have a whole new epilogue that leaked for Kirby Return to Dreamland Deluxe. What if we get some information on that? What if we get some information on some of the new copy abilities that we've seen them advertise, but we haven't really seen them push in a major way? What about Bayonetta Origins? We definitely could use some more information on that. Tales of Symphonia Remaster, Octopath Traveler 2. You know, gosh forbid, Hollow Knight Silk Song. Do I even dare... 
utter those words. Hogwarts Legacy, if, is it going to be localized on Switch? And if it is going to be localized and not a cloud version, can we see some first gameplay? What about Gollum that's supposed to come out in the first half of this year and is also coming to Switch? Can we see uh, some first gameplay for that? Those are two major third-party games that are supposedly coming to Switch. Are we going to see an update on Genshin Impact that was announced for Switch years ago? Is now when we get an update on that. Are we going to get other Square Enix RPGs brought over? After all, we got Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core, which ends up actually running really well on Switch. I think it surprised people how well that game runs on Switch. Makes you wonder if the Final Fantasy VII Remake could actually run on Switch. I know that's a completely, like, way more graphically intense game, but... You know, Crisis Core looks pretty good. Are they down the graphics or something like that? Maybe it'll work. I don't know. We're not going to get it, by the way. Sony paid for exclusivity. But the point I am trying to make here is that we are in a good period. This should be a really good direct. This might even be better than the September direct that we expect and any sort of summer event. And maybe it's just because we do have a major game coming up in Zelda, and I do have my bias with Tears of the Kingdom. But it is nice knowing that, hey, with this Direct, we have a massive game coming out a few months later. In fact, we are 100 days away from release. Exactly. Today, 100 days away. And you know what? We know that Nintendo's going to start ramping up marketing because their own Twitter accounts are posting that we're 100 days away. Nintendo's own Twitter accounts are doing this. Their own Twitter accounts. Also, big shout out to uh, HMK, by the way. He made this fan-made thumbnail or this fan-made Nintendo Direct thing. Guys, the, the, the thumbnail isn't like real. It's not February 7th, but um, there will be Tears of the Kingdom and stuff like that. So it's going to be it's gonna be quite interesting. Uh, so what, shout out to HMK <laughs> for it, um, helping us uh, get a jump start to our day here. Uh, by the way, HMK is going to be on our podcast tonight, you know, assuming his internet is working out. We're also going to be having Mike Odyssey, Andres Restart, and Mandy Lee plays for the first time back since last summer. So it should be a pretty good show. In fact, I might be the only one on the show that isn't working correctly because we aren't really sure if my camera is going to function correctly tonight. We're, 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 we're crossing our fingers and... <laughs> open here. I might have to go take out my old webcam just as an emergency backup because I'm not really I'm not really sure if this is gonna work. I don't even know if I have an old webcam, honestly. I probably should dig around for it a bit more. Anyways, guys, you're awesome. Thank you so much as we continue our journey here on YouTube. We took a blow yesterday. We lost our main editing rig and computer. Uh, good news is that we're going to be getting a new editing computer and stuff pretty soon. I would say within a month or two here, however long, you know, we're going to order it in about a month and then however long it takes to actually ship because we're getting it customized a little bit. Uh, and then we're running all of our streams off our laptop, uh, which has been an adventure. And let me tell you, uh, when you walk downstairs, despite shutting down your laptop, realizing it didn't shut down, you close the lid, which ended up choking off the air. For some reason, even though all the air vents are on the bottom, but then the fans didn't run because the computer was off, but for some reason it was still running. It was weird. So you come down and your CPU and GPU are over 100 degrees, and you're like, what is going on? So then you shut off your laptop while you're recording, waiting for it to cool down just so you can turn it back on and pray. Well, actually, it works. I already know it works, but pray the fans spin up because I couldn't get the fans to spin up. And you're sitting here, what is happening? Are you about to lose your mind? Are you going to even be able to continue to do this YouTube thing without your new computer? What is going on? I don't know. All right, guys, we're just making the best of a really strange situation. Thank you so much for being here. You're awesome. I appreciate all the support. We got a big year ahead for you guys. Um, I'm going to catch you guys in the next video uh, and live stream and podcast. We got a podcast tonight at 8 p.m. Central. I hope to see you guys there. Catch you later. Peace.